Hi guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about getting started in photography. The truth is, that if you came to prove, there's no reason to prove. So, getting started in photography. For many people, it's um, jump on the Facebook groups, on the forums, reading reviews, watching unboxing videos, and asking people, what should I buy? What camera should I buy? What lens should I buy? What light should I buy? Do I need this? Do I need that? And uh, oh, it's just too much information. R remember, you're just starting out. All you need is one camera and one lens, and that's it. Oh, okay, a couple of batteries and a few memory cards as well. Maybe a little camera bag, um, but that's fine. So keep it simple, one camera and one lens. I see too much bad advice, too much arguing in Facebook groups and forum posts on the back of someone asking what to buy. You don't know them as a person, you don't know their budget, you don't know um, what they want to photograph. Hell, they don't even know what they want to photograph at that point. So the advice that you're um, giving them is largely irrelevant and pointless. Um, when you're starting out, you've got a lot of stuff to look at and learn. Um, this is the fundamentals on exposure, composition, depth of field, um, lenses, focal lens, perspective, compression, expansion. There's a ton of things to learn um, getting going. And the last thing you need to be doing is worrying about a whole ton of gear, buying everything in a big bundle, a uh, big bundle, sorry, and then not knowing where to start. So where should I go? What camera system should I buy? Now, I can't tell you which specific camera to buy. Again, I don't know you. Um, don't know what you want to photograph and neither do you um, but the two choices out on the market now we have on the floor down here um, we have the DSLR and now this is a full frame DSLR it's a 5D Mark II I'm shooting with this for a few reasons um, I like wide angle I like the 35 millimeter field of view and I get that on a full frame camera whereas on a crop sensor camera I don't um, it's not about the megapixels it's not about the high iso performance because i live in the iso 100 to 1600 range most of the time a lot of the time in the iso 100 to 400 range so the high iso performance i doesn't matter not bothered um so this is where um i've got this camera now this is quite big and bulky so um other considerations out there you could buy into a mirrorless system now this is a fuji x100 which is a fixed focal length lens I don't recommend starting with a fixed focal length lens camera because you're limiting your learning. Remember, you've got to learn about focal length and the effects that it has on depth of field and also on exposure when you're looking at a variable aperture lens as well. So starting with one camera with one fixed focal length lens, I don't really recommend. This is a great little camera to walk around shooting street stuff on, uh, behind the scenes stuff. It's nice and light. Um, so maybe um, a mirrorless system with an interchangeable lens option um, is the way to go for cons weight considerations or size considerations. Maybe the DSLR is too big and bulky, too heavy. Uh, maybe it's too heavy because you've got arthritis, uh, some other issue maybe with your hands or joints. So mirrorless and light is the way to go. And brand wise, it really doesn't matter. Um, you can buy Olympus, Panasonic, Samsung, Canon, Nikon, Sony, who cares? I certainly don't, it makes no difference at all. Um, it's all about your personal preference. Um, stick to a budget, set yourself a budget, consider used to save some money as well. Um, buy used from a reputable dealer so you get some kind of warranty with it as well. Um, it's probably the best thing to do rather than on the private market and you can save yourself a lot of money that way. Now, um, which one to go for? The thing to do is consider the weight okay these things do get big bulky and heavy when you've got a bag full of lenses and stuff as well again it's heavier compared to a mirrorless system and um, so there's that consideration cost wise uh, it's all going to be expensive when you get into this when you're buying into a multiple lens system going forward adding lights further equipment later on if you so need to um, so cost wise they're all much of the same any brand can match another brand um, for a camera and lens options at any price point these days. Some may be a little bit cheaper, granted, um, but very, very much the same. Um, so it's more really on the size and how it feels. Now, when I say, stick that down there, when I say how it feels, I'm back in the frame. There we go. Um, we're talking about the ergonomics. So you can go pick up these cameras, 
get a feel for the button layout. Is it too fiddly? Um, does it feel comfortable in the hand? I shoot Canon because it feels comfortable and at home my brain fits Canon. Um, I pick up a Nikon or another system and okay, I could get used to it, but the layout's just not as comfortable for me. This is why I've gone with Canon, that's fine. People who shoot Nikon, go for it. Great cameras, same with Sony, Panasonic, doesn't matter. So get hands on, get a feel for them. Buy your simple camera, it'll probably be a crop sensor camera, which is absolutely fine, doesn't need to be full frame. 12 megapixels and up is absolutely fine. These days you're probably gonna see 16 and up anyway in most cameras. Simple kit lens and you are good to go. A few batteries, a few memory cards, great. I mean, you've got a lot to learn. You don't need a light, you don't need multiple cameras, you don't need a 50 megapixel full frame camera when you're learning this stuff. Um, ignore, ignore the people that tell you to buy a specific camera or you should buy this because it's great and it's sharp. And just because they've got it, you should buy it. Like, what all the crap? I mean, you're gonna hear a lot of absolute bullshit in the Facebook forums and on groups. Um, there's just a ton of it on there and a lot of bad advice, some great advice, some people are really helpful, um, but there's a lot of bad stuff to wade through. Keep it simple. Remember, you're still learning. You don't know who you are um, as a photographer yet. You don't know what you want to photograph at all. Um, you don't know later on whether you're going to be going into fashion and editorial. So that's way, way, way in the future. Um, if you're thinking of a career on it, keep it simple, simple, simple. Cheap, simple body, simple kit lens, and you're good to go. Don't get caught up on the megapixel and the spec wars. Um, it really doesn't matter at this stage. Um, invest your time and money in learning from eBooks, videos, um, downloads, maybe workshops, and just go shoot a lot. It's the best thing that you can do rather than buying a ton of different gear. Okay, well, just a few tips on getting going, and um, you know, a little bit of a warning um, not to get caught up on all the uh, all the the rubbish and the playground arguments that you'll find in Facebook groups about which brand Canon or Nikon or system to go for. It really doesn't matter. Um, if anyone's got any tips that they can add to this, um, please stick them in the comments below. Um, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will uh, see you guys in the next video. If you came to groove.